Hey guys, Derek for the Survivalists. <clears throat> Up next, I'm going to be talking about finding key landmarks. Um, of course, at one point I have been talking about maps and stuff like that. Uh, one of the biggest things, like I was saying, is finding key landmarks, especially on a map. And what you want to do is match it up with your actual surroundings. Because that will have hills it may look a little different on a map versus the real life deal but it will help you in the long run figuring out where you are how to get out of it or how to get through it um like for example i live in a hilly area so that'll actually show you the difference with the lines and circles and stuff like that looking at a map um, i'll actually show you a little bit as you can see that it's very hilly and it will show you the differences in height on the map so that way you'll actually be able to see it <clears throat> like right right there right here's a creek with two hills that meet down in a gorge or whatever um that'll actually show you uh with a series of lines that contour to where you're at so that way you'll actually know where you're at, which way to go, or which way not to go. That's why you need to find key landmarks, so that way you'll know where to go, what to avoid, and anything like that. Or if you want, I mean, one situation you can actually find cricks, mountains, hills, you know, stuff like that, and all that. And one of the best parts, you may not see it. It is actually hidden very well, but there's a deer. And you know, the maps, you won't see that on a map, but it is a good thing to have so that way you'll know what to see and you'll never know, but you may run into wildlife. Let's see if I can get a good shot of this. Maybe. See, right there. Maybe it'll, yep. Going up. Got a deer. Form of wildlife. Yeah, hidden behind the tree. You may not see it, which is a form of camouflage. Look at that, you got something extra on this video for you. Some wildlife. Oh, there we go. Got a clear shot of it now. I hope. Good sized doe. There we go. And that is actually one thing I will be hitting on. Um, you just having to get a pretty good shot of it. And there it goes. But finding key landmarks and something like that, as you've seen the deer, you will have to go after it. Hence why you gotta find key landmarks just in case you're hunting or traveling. You'll know where you're going, where you've been, what you've seen, and be sure to look around you, look back, look forward. Just basically be aware, be aware of your surroundings, and you should be good to go. Hope you guys uh, stay tuned. I'll have more for you. Click like, subscribe, and check out our Facebook page, The Survivalist.